Hello, y'all. Chef Jeffrey here. I'm back with another video here. I'm still in the Thanksgiving. You're watching this uh, video right now. It's probably around holiday season. But <clears throat> this is going to be one of my most popular recipes that I posted on my Facebook, Old School Soul Facebook page. If you don't follow that page, you need to follow that page. But it's one of my most popular recipes. And I'll say now, once you make the recipe I'm about to make, once your family and friends, relatives, co-workers taste it, I promise you, I guarantee you, they will say this is the best sweet potato, glazed sweet potatoes, candy yams, however you want to say it. Some people say glazed sweet potatoes, some people can't say candy yams. But I guarantee you, you will never find a recipe. I'm not saying that just because I'm making it. I'm saying it because all the comments and Every time I make this in the comments and, re and response I get after people change their way of doing it into mine. So, with that being said, the key to making sweet, like sweet potato pie, any glazed sweet potato, I go through this and I tell people it's been boiling it for years and they do my method. It's like night and day and they never go back to the old method. Always, I repeat, always bake your potatoes for two reasons. It preserves that nice yellow uh, color of the potato that's inside, orange color, and it preserves the taste. Sweet potatoes has a natural sweetness in it. When you boil it, this is common sense. When anything you boil in water, it comes out. So when you boil a sweet potato in water, it loses the color, number one, and it loses, loses that natural sweetener in the water. So you want to preserve that, all that, by baking the sweet potato. I know y'all have ever had a baked sweet potato and how awesome it is. You just put a little butter in it. You don't need any sugar. That's the same concept this is. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put the potatoes in the oven. We're going to bake them 350 degrees. You can take an hour and a half, sometimes two hours, sometimes an hour, depending on how big they are. But another thing, make sure all your potatoes are pretty much the same size so they'll cook evenly at the same time. So we're going to put them in the oven here. 350 degrees. Okay, now we're gonna work on the secret ingredient to this, which is the glaze. Very simple, very, very simple recipe. But a lot of people do it different, and when you put this with the baked potato, it's gonna make it pop. I have a secret ingredient I'm gonna share with you. Please don't show nobody this secret ingredient. Keep it to between me and you. So anyway, the secret ingredient to my sweet potatoes I come up with this about 20 years ago. Something to make the sweet potatoes, the candy yams pop is this. Butterscotch stopping. You can find this in two, you can sometimes you find it in a jar. Sometimes I use a syrup where I can just squirt it in there. It comes out easier. But it's in the grocery supermarket, a grocery store, where they sell ice cream. It's usually on that owl, end of that owl cap where all the ice cream toppings is, that's where you find butterscotch in the store. Many people say, I don't know where you find this stuff. It's in the ice cream topping section in the grocery store. So, with that being said, very simple recipe. Butter, it's butter, brown sugar. Now you got this. I like to serve a little better because I can actually just squirt it in there. The one that come in the jar is kinda and this recipe is in the description of the video. I make this so many times of why I'm not measuring it, but I did measure it out. You got nutmeg, a little nutmeg, and cinnamon. A little cinnamon in there. I put more cinnamon than nutmeg. All right. And all you do, you're going to melt this together. all this together and I promise you I promise you and guarantee you again when you put this glaze with your sweet potatoes your family friend and relative gonna be amazed like what is this what's in there the key ingredient is the butterscotch butterscotch gonna bring all the flavors out of the cinnamon nutmeg the brown sugar butter all that's gonna work together but the butterscotch just takes it to another level there's nothing to this all you're doing is melting this together and when the sweet potatoes come out, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let them cool a little while I can handle it. We're gonna take them, peel them, we're gonna slice them, lay them in a casserole dish, 
put a little glaze on top, lay a little bit more on top, put the glaze on top, voila, put it in the oven another 30, not even 30 minutes, another 15, 20 minutes, you can add marshmallows if you want to. I'm not a marshmallow person on my sweet potatoes, some people are. You can add marshmallows to it and, uh, and bake it in the oven about 30 minutes and that's it. But the glaze is ready. This is so simple. And people think glaze, candy yams is, is a big work in the kitchen. It's not, it's so easy. You see how quick that glaze come together? Like I say, butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the butterscotch, that's it. You got a nice glaze, see that glaze? I been mean, this is good on ice cream too, if you, if you wanna play around with it. But that's it. So we're gonna let this just sit here until the, uh, until the, I'm gonna turn this off, until the uh, sweet potatoes get ready. When they get ready, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna peel them, slice them, put them in the pan, put this thing together and show you how awesome it is. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Sweet potatoes been in here about an hour and a half. And it's definitely ready, nice. Nice. So what we gonna do, I'm gonna let these cool. About 30 minutes or so where I can handle them. And I got my baking dish here, it's gonna be very simple. What we gonna do later, when they come back, I'm gonna spray this down. We're gonna peel these. I'm gonna dice them up in here. Slice, you know, put a nice dice. Throw the glaze over the top, and that's it. That's simple glaze, sweet potatoes, candy yam. So anyway, these are nice. Sugar, you can see the sugar just coming out of these. So, like I said, I'm gonna let them cool slightly. And uh, when I come back, we're gonna peel them. Trying to slice them up, put them in the pan, throw the glaze over, and that's it. So I'll be back in about a half an hour. Okay, y'all, we back. I peeled, I already peeled the potatoes. They're really, really hot. I like to do them when they warm. To, to me, the peeling comes off a little bit better. But see how orange these potatoes are when you bake them in the skin? Nice and sweet. They're very sweet, too. That's what you're looking for. See how orange that is? And you, like I said, that's what happens when you bake the potatoes in the skin. You preserve that beautiful orange color to the potato. So what I'm going to do now, set this to the side. Dish here. And what we going to do... Nice and put them right into the. Put them around. I like, to, I like to slice them. There's no art to this, you know. I want to kind of slice them up a little, lay them in here. Another one off of here. Lay them in the casserole dish. And I do two layers. There we go. That. Now I'm going to put a little glaze on top of this. A little glaze on there that we made earlier. Yeah. Now we do the other two. Like I said, the recipe is on the, let me get this little cap here off of here, on the description of the video. I say, you can't go wrong with this. Nothing like glazed sweet potatoes. Or candy yam. And do the last one here. Cut the little edge off of here. I don't like that in there. I don't like that little end of the piece on there. That's it. Arrange them off in there like that. See that? They all go in the dish just like that. And. I'm gonna pour the rest of the glaze on there. Like, I don't need this. We're just gonna pour it on here just like that. Look at that. That is so much goodness. Awesome goodness. And I like to move around in there, and all that glaze just soak down in there. Soak all the way down in there. Go wrong. You want all that goodness in there. That's the good thing about uh, glazed sweet potatoes, a candy yam. 
Gotta have enough sauce in there. There we go. Like I say, so easy. I'm gonna try this. I mean, this is done. This is done right here. Look at that. Mmm. This is so good. This is so, so good, y'all. Try this recipe. So easy. I guarantee you, you do this recipe, you will never, ever go back to uh, the way you used to do it. So, anyway, I this recipe. Recipes in the description of the video. And until give this recipe a thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.